Hey guys, it's me, Dreamer. Today we're going to be playing a new hack by Anto Pikmin. It's called Picky 2. Now let's see how good of a time we could have. Seems to use the same memory card thing as picking normal Pikmin 2. One more is on vacation. The president of Hokitate Fright was watching the cameras of Hokitate ship. He's certainly watching something. Two hours later, Louis fell asleep aboard the Hokitate ship and pressed the eject button while he was sleeping. And the golden pick pick carrot was ejected to Hokitate ship to PNF 404. Nice forest of hope music though. Pretty dope. Oh. I'm assuming he's screaming, Louis. Or Louis. The prison of Hokitate Fright wanted to look for the golden pick pick carrot, but he wanted to know where it landed. So he modified the Hokitate ship and turned it into a time machine. Really? He called Lewis and asked him to come as soon as possible so that they can come with him in the time machine. They left into the past, but they felt tremors during the journey. When they arrived, Hokitate ship was out of fuel and they needed to find 16 fuel speculum and the golden paper care to leave. Crazy. Volcano Valley. Pretty nice looking area, if you ask me. Seems to be a, the normal affair. Wait, Louis is missing. Olimar, Olimar and Louis? What's present in Louis? I know it's pretty hard to change the text because I tried it once and uh, it didn't last too long. But hey, you can whistle Pikmin with B. Did you know that? Hmm. Cave. Interesting. My metal detectors are reacting violently. I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine below. Really? Cool. I may be wrong, but isn't there normally five Pikmin? Well, that's pretty neat. Heals, so you have to directly hit it on the top or else it just doesn't die. 17 instead of 15 Pikmin to crush the bag. Pretty cool. Time to switch to Captain. Cutscene was skipped. Just wanted to check if you could enter that cave. Louis, this odd object before you is an onion. Weird, my bones just cracked. I hope that's not a problem. You know what, that actually lines up pretty well with the president model. The onion seemed to eject the sprout. Really? I thought it was a potato. It's a picky. A picky man. Uh, by that, I'm pretty sure there is a buried treasure in this area. Which, I mean, that's pretty good use for the space. I mean, if I was making a hack, I would put the, the ship down there in that little crevice, and then the onions up here, but I'm not making a hack right now. Or am I? Maybe. But we'll just see how it works out. The onion is ejected more seeds. Really? I thought they were oranges. Mm. 
and you can hear my controller squeaking. And that'd be real funny if the president talked to the president while the president was Louis. But that wouldn't happen, right? Sorry about that, I just had to turn down the volume on my computer because I got to turn it down before I start recording and it was at 100 and my ears were actually starting to not hurt but get annoyed. Let's quickly pluck these plucky plucks. You know, considering a lot of things, this texture is really good. Kind of curious how they made it. Nice. We're back together. There we go. How many is this seesaw block? need to push it down 30 that's not too many it sounds like more of a day two thing than day one Ooh, poison no i tried it so your pikmin can in fact die on day one definitely wouldn't advise it though I guess while they're working on the wall, I can go back and pluck those other plucky puck pucks. Alright, that's taking a bit too long. Speed! I like how this is a volcano valley, but it's snowing. I don't know about something about that, but it's just like... One of those Mario Galaxy levels, like, what was it called? It's like, uh, Freeze Fire Galaxy, something like that. I love that idea of very cold things being right next to very hot things. It's just a nice idea that I wish more games utilized. Not, you know, now I'm curious. Will they even be affected by this? Yes. How many Pikmin does this need to weigh down? Well, since that's a negative number, I'm assuming it underflows to like... 9,000 or like 10,000 or something like that. That's a pretty neat idea, that bridge builds up to go up there, because uh, those paper bags, something about them I don't trust, makes me assume that you can't break it down, just like that uh, seesaw block right there. Break it down faster. It's taking forever. Come on. There we go. But how could they destroy such a wall? It's a wall! How, how did a leaf creature break down walls? That makes no sense. Yes, it does, little time traveling variant ship thing. I like how the crown's on top of that. Well, I was about to say snowman, but uh, just like in New Year, it's no longer made out of snow, so uh, what is it then? Ooh, the other scrap is over there in the water. That's an interesting placement for it. And there's a cave over there, but you can hardly see it, so I'll just cheat my way over there. Yeah, it's a cave. Cool. Now back to the task at hand, taking this part. Sh no? This treasure. All the way back. Actually, you know what? I'll just come back to it whenever it gets there. And it's just about in there. 
There we go. It's a rechargeable battery. That's interesting. Well, first day of exploration has yielded its first treasure. Crazy. Who'd have thought that if you get a treasure, you get a treasure? Yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, not remix, but uh, what would I call that? Like a retuning? Something like that. It's a nice instrument change for the song. I approve. Hmm, same with this. What is our report? We got 300 Pokos. It's 20 more than usual. Wait a minute. But that's... that's the present. But the present's the present? Crazy. That's a nice texture change. Wait a minute, it's called the Valley Report. Let's play those Volcano Valley. I say that like I know what I'm doing. If I know what I was doing, I would have already made a hack by now. It's always so nice whenever we get more uh, content like this. Also, I'm kind of aware that, uh... Yeah, see that? No, uh, just get, get the pellet. Let me get back here. Yeah, I'm aware that, uh... Pikmin no longer just carry pellets by 1 and 2. Now there's... Much more. I would have to say... How did I say that? But yeah, now, like... 5? I don't know, like, 8, probably. Pikmin can hold a 1 pellet. I mean, it kind of makes sense. There's so much space on it. Now, is there anything over here? Or am I, uh, wasting daylight? Because I can already tell the days are much shorter. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Quickly, we gotta get back. Daylight's burning. Don't you dare get stuck on the corner. I have no way to wreck fix that. Also, it's got the, uh, Pikmin can, wait, hold on, see. Yeah, 15 Pikmin can carry a 5 pellet, that's nice. That is enough to go to the first cave, but I did see a snowy bullboard, and I think I heard a fiery one as well, so I'll take on the... Which one do I want to take on? I guess just the snowy reward. But first, let's break down this thing. Nice. We even made the uh, victory sound. I'm curious how they did that. Now, just because I, uh, don't want the other captain to get in the way, I'll just, uh, make him bait the other, make him bait the bulborb. Go this way, please. Uh, you know what, that's fine. And just like that, he's, uh, finished. Now, because, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a 20 pellet past this thing, I'm gonna get it to the, where we generally cross over and I'll make the Snowy Evil War push it. And if that makes no sense, then, uh, I understand. Sometimes my English isn't the best, even though I was born in America, but see, they got stuck. So my big brain idea was just to use this guy to push it. Wait, are they not going to... I want them to push the 20 pellet. Alright, uh, close enough. 
If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, and I'll be sad. Well, darn. Doesn't seem like we're doing that today. Wait, what? Why'd the whistle go invisible? That's weird. But yeah, it doesn't need uh, that many on it. Let's go fight that fiery one. And uh, hope that we have enough time left. Day. Uh, I'll do the same thing where I... Uh... That's a problem. Oh gosh, it's so much faster. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, I just realized the whistle's gone invisible. Well, I hope, uh... The cat, or not the captain, uh, the president will be okay. Not good enough, let's just, uh... Try to do it while we still have daytime left. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Okay, good. Quickly, get that to the onion. We have, like, no daytime left. Oh, my bones keep cracking. What the heck is up with that? Since when do bones just randomly crack like that? I'm literally sitting down. The day's gonna end. Actually, it would be a good idea to get this up. Wait, did the whistle come back? It did. Uh... Hey, hey, could you... Uh-oh. Uh... No, I'm not gonna take defeat, so uh... I'm just gonna fight him better. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna uh, fight him even better, okay? Because I'll stick it, give it, it, skip it. But... Maybe it's just because the cursor was missing him. No, there's so many Pikmin. Come on, just die. Come on, just, just get in there. Something telling me there's uh, just not enough daytime left to get the fiery guy. Because it does not seem like we have enough time for him. Ugh, crap. If we don't have enough time left, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I do know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna not fight him and just go straight to the cave. Because simply, why care? Yes, the day's going to end. I get it. I've already seen this. Yeah, let's see. The whistle's gone. But now it's back? I have to be... Alright, come on, come on, come on. 
Well, uh, we're going with 49, Pikmin. Yeah, we're going, we're going. That's really loud on my end. I hope that doesn't explode your earbuds whenever it uh, plays for you guys. I can't see. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Intriguing. We seem to be in a cave and it seems to be warmer than the a volcano outside. Oh, bull bear, bull bear, why bull bear? I thought I heard bullpen, but that's that 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 bad. That bad. That bad. Get up. Wait, but they're humming. That means there's no treasure. I mean, they were humming, so that means that there shouldn't be any treasure. You had to make it complicated, didn't you? If I had spicy spirits, then I wouldn't have to worry at all. But no, there's this guy. This gigantic bull bear that heals that I have to worry about. Uh, oh wait, I know what to do. I can just lead him far away. Somehow. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's fine. And we're not fine. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We are 100% not fine. Go, 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 go. One Pikmin died, that's fine. It's only one Pikmin. Barely made out there alive. I don't think there's anything in that pipe. Uh, that looks like... Yeah, that's actual water that Pikmin cannot go through. Unlike this water, which for some reason they can touch. Purple candy pop bud? Yeah, that's still five. Oh, and there's more air buds. Oh, and there's a... Uh, there's an Emperor Moldax, of course. There's a escape. What's it called? Geyser. I wonder why that's there. I wonder why I couldn't remember that name. Noise. It's a, it's a leaf. Purple leaf. You know, there's one person I play uh, Pikmin with every now and again, and uh, they don't call purple Pikmin purple Pikmin. I'm not sure why, but they call them. Pick, Pikmin. I'll let you guys know that knowledge for whatever reason you need to know it. And if you didn't need to know it, well now you do. The more you know. Now just because I'm uh, real suspicious about that escape guys are being there because uh, what is it? Oh. Well that's just the um, going deeper. You can still escape in that Bulbax 
better have the darn the darn darn escape or the globe. Well, it's time like these where we uh did barely anything. Move, move. Okay, never mind. Uh, we can just fight him from over here. Oh, why didn't I wait? I could have gone to the cave on day two. That would have sucked, but uh, this guy looks like he has a lot of health. And if I miss most of them, that really is bad. Oh, hey, that didn't kill them. Please, stop going under him. No, he landed on his darn tongue. Oh, they actually got crushed for once. Oh. I thought he was going to be hard, but no, it's just that purple pigmen were nerfed, it seems. No, I just want you to latch on. What about how am I missing? I know I'm hitting you. Stop in this recording till I defeat this guy. So wake up. Maybe this time I can do a deathless. Okay, maybe not, but, uh, definitely better than last time. Yeah, way better than last time. Oh, I, for a second I thought you didn't get any Pikmin. Oh, of course I can't hit him from there. Why would I be able to? It's weird, it seems like most of the time he doesn't even... Can you stop attacking his legs? We really don't need that. It'd be pretty cool if he made that make rocks fall. All I care about is killing less than five Pikmin. I didn't keep count, so what's the point? Thank you for being merciful and not uh, killing them and just pushing them to the side. dare you. <laughs> oh, it's just the compass. Oh no, 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 stop, stop that, stop right there. Stop falling into the... 
the water. I was about to say, do I not have enough Pikmin? But I forgot I had the uh, Pikmin. Oh, of course, it takes 20. Oh, of course, it's gonna take a year and a half. I'll get back to you whenever it gets there. Interesting. Oh, why did you bring a beast to me? Uh, back to waiting. And we're there. It took long enough, in my opinion. Okay, well... You know, that actually kind of makes sense. Because it is a compass, after all. Well, I'm out of here. I can't go to the next sub-level, but I can run away like a crybaby. Yeah, I'm leaving. Bye-bye. 12? That's a... Wait, I've got one out of zero. Yeah, I'll save. I'll save to that. 12 is a lot of deaths for a first cave, but uh, there's been worse. Oh, that's most of my Pikmin right there. Was it worth it just to go back for them? No. But with that, guys, ends our first video on Picky 2. Tune in next time for uh, more madness. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe.